I'm coming for ya. Oh, he freaking brought in a bear? What the shit? How's it going guys? My name is Graham. This is a demo of the upcoming Driven Out. It's like a medieval fighting game and I think the point is that you're playing as someone who's a very inexperienced fighter. They're like picking up a sword for the first time so it makes the controls a little more difficult. There's more of a learning curve. You kind of have to outsmart your enemies more so than just running in willy-nilly. So thank you to the developers and the people over at Indie Boost. For hooking me up with a key here. Is this a kettlebell? Are we gonna start like working out? Or is it just like a lantern, perhaps? Oh shit. I think I biffed it really hard. He's gonna fight us with a, a stick now? Why are we fending him off? Yeah, that's th that is not a, a very like experienced looking sword swing. You can tell that it's a a little bit poorly practiced. Alright, man, bring it on. You wing your big stick around. Oh shit, did I just kind of parry there on accident? <laughs> I think he's slapping me around. Maybe, maybe, do you know what? Maybe he can't actually hurt me with his stupid stick. Oh yeah, he's bailing. I got the big sword, bitch. <laughs> uh, he knew, he knew he met his match. Look at that little mole, like, scurrying its way under. This is funny, because it's the kind of, like, uh, rock, paper, scissors gameplay... Uh, like decision making that you have to make in something like Nidhogg almost where it's like you kind of have to get a sense of maybe what your opponent's about to do and like think through it and try and respond then you actually like stop in the in the middle of your of your steps there animation wise which is kind of neat you can toggle which way you face because otherwise otherwise you're just going to stay in one direction that's i'm guessing like a proper block yeah, you can do very specific blockings and everything, so it is kind of like uh, the battling in Nidhogg, but then turned into like a story mode. And it's entirely you versus the computers rather than you versus whoever you were going up against. You can't attack the cows as much as I might want to. Uh, <laughs> I'm very paranoid by this now. I don't like it. Oh, I just dropped my thing. What does that do? Okay, just give someone a hologram to fight against while I figure out the controls a little better. Oh, there we go. Now I figured out how to do the blocks properly. Yeah, bring it on, punk. <laughs> that was brutal. Yeah, that guy, he just bails right away. Clearly no match. Oh, crap. Oh, this guy's messing me up this time. Oh, God, that was supposed to be... I thought I blocked. I didn't realize he was going from below. We start from Witchcraft Contraption. Oh, but I guess that probably only works if you don't let the guy you're fighting kill it. That mole is actually making progress. <laughs> I've learned now that uppercutting, or not uppercutting, like the opposite of that, just the drop down. Is that guy's one weakness. Four big drop swings like that, and he didn't stand a chance. Okay, I kind of want to try and defend, but I want to learn what his different attacks look like. Well, the, his uppercut one, or his, his drop one, what am I doing? His downer cut, I guess I can think of it as. That one's a little bit obvious to read. So that I could block. Oh, yeah, look at me now. Bam, I'm a genius. Also, he's just quite slow, so he's, it's not that tough to get one over on him there. The, the like, well-drawn, in-depth hand animation in this game looks really good. Oh, Jesus Christ! I wasn't prepared for this! No, 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 no! Well, now I know where to drop my contraption. I don't think I could pivot quickly enough to stay on top of that. <laughs> now I know to just keep going as he's standing up. That's how I'm going to defeat them next time I have to fight two of them. Is I'm just going to sit there and just keep alternating downward chops at their heads. I think this guy only has the one move, honestly, so that, that makes it a little easier. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stick that right there. And hopefully I can deal with you guys before... <laughs> 
I just... Oh, he immediately went and started attacking my thing. No, you jerk. I need that. Well, now you're getting downward chopped. So what do you... Uh, are you happy with your life choices now? Or are you starting to rethink your entire life? I'm just going to drop another one. I kind of still really want that. Oh, this guy. More health. Seems like he's more likely to know multiple attacks. Oh, <laughs> That was, uh, that was a big swig. Yeah, he knows the down. Oh, God. Uh, <laughs> yeah, two. I think he only knows the two attacks. Shit. Okay, but I just immediately respawn. But I can't re replace that thing. It's, uh, I, I don't have, like, the energy necessary to do so. Oh, block. <laughs> yeah. Minor progress. <laughs> <laughs> I really need to recharge that thing. Am I supposed to go back and like pick it back up again? I think that's it. You just only get the two placements across a level or whatever it ends up being. Oh no, this guy looks like he's fast and has multiple different attack styles. That's too much, man. I can't deal with this. Actually, do you know what? Oh yeah, he does. For a second I was like, maybe he only attacks slow. Maybe I only have to learn one thing. Uh no, oh, damn it, I thought that was going to be a side swipe again. Duh! The overhand ones are the ones I could most easily tell what he's about to do, so just keep doing those. Oh, right at the feet. Oh, I'm allowed to restart from here, though, still. That is good. This is good news for me. Oh, that was the world's... That was it! That was like a legit counter. If you get it right at the right moment there, then that totally counts for slightly more. This, I, there's something to be done there. Oh, that's how I run. Okay. Interesting. Jesus Christ. If you let this guy hit you, you're just done for. Ah, I can't, I can't attack him and block in the same thing. He's too, he's too fast. So I got to block and then attack. Yeah, no, he was stunned. He was stunned and I blew my opportunity. Oh, <laughs> that's too hard. At least I have this reset point. Although, honestly, now that I've kind of learned a little bit better, I might be better off, like, totally restarting so I can drop that in a better place and have the reserve one, you know? Because this guy, this guy is just going to keep messing me up otherwise. Yeah, stunned. Suck it! Oh, double stunned. Now what? Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's a good response. Good, uh, good retaliation on that one. Oh, 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 now I'm getting the feel for it. Sick. These battles are are kind of dope. Oh man. Whew. I really wish I could like drop that save thing now. I want to like keep. Keep warm, keep the keep the heart rate up on that speed bag, which I think is like a honeycomb or whatever, so it's probably a poor decision. That's this isn't like the end of the, the demo or whatever, is it? I wanna go fight that naked dude. We gotta find out what's going on there. Knock knock, naked dude. Oh my witch contraption filled back up again. Well, that doesn't really help me a lot right now. Can't can't run through the wall. Alright, well, if I'm allowed to drop a thing again, then I'm I'm for sure doing it. That might that might literally be all that the demo has to offer, but I never went left because video game logic tells me that that's not a thing. My old witch save thing is still over there. Wow, if there is anything to the left, then I really wish I didn't drop my save thing in that precise spot. <laughs> Cuz that's going to feel like a big old waste. Oh, I thought I was going to get to go inside the cave. Oh, shit, but there is definitely still more going on here. Uh, uh, oh my god, what the hell? I was worried enough about having to fight whatever this shaman guy is, who I assumed was going to start, like, casting spells at me. <laughs> now I have to fight this goat? Oh my god. Well, that's... Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm going to get so wrecked by this thing. Yeah. Yeah, I really wish I didn't save all the way back here, especially if the game's going to pan all the way back every time. Nuts to that. I'm starting over. Oh, perfect. 
I was able to just load my last save, which was after defeating that guy. So now, now I can go over here and drop a save that is in a much more useful position. I can drop it somewhere over by this, like, trusty mole. Somewhere around here is good enough. I want a little bit of distance between me and the cave, because I'll inevitably kind of walk backwards quite a lot as we're fighting, and I don't want to lure this thing too far away. I'm going to get in there. Oh, he backs away. Uh, oh, crap. Yeah, that kind of worked. I'll just let him walk into my sword, and then I back away. Oh, this is a flawless strategy. It's insane how well this works, actually. <laughs> you sucker. Now what you going to do? Now I bashed up your goat, buddy. I'm coming for you. Oh, he freaking brought in a bear. What the shit? Uh, bear attack. No. <laughs> Okay, uh, learning this bear's moveset seems like it'll be very critical. No, or maybe I just do a speedier attack than I was doing just a moment ago. He seems hesitant, so if I just let him come in nice and slow, I should be fine. I don't know. I think his bear logic broke a little bit. False sense of security is all that that was. Uppercut, that was not worth it. Oh, son of a bitch. Crap, I was too busy, te like, ch attempting to cheese things, and I didn't really learn the tells of his attack patterns. So, uh, I'll just have to try and take him out without learning my lesson at all. Come back here, you damn shaman. I've had enough of trying to fight your shit. Ugh. He's not gonna let me in there. Well, now I'm, now I'm toast. Get back! Get back! Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> this is terrifying. I'm gonna get. I. I. The last time I had to fight two things like this, I just got so lucky because I was just able to, like. The one just went and fought my. my ghost thing. Uh, and just distracted himself while I. super cheesed the other guy. So, uh. Yeah, I. I haven't really had to learn how to alternate who I'm fighting the way that I clearly am going to need to for this next battle, so... I don't know if I see myself proceeding beyond this part, especially if I just get messed up like that. I wonder if you could have went this direction right from the start, but the game just sets you up? Well, he didn't die. Well, that's not fair. The bear was dead. The game just sets you up to immediately run in that other direction because... the knight who took the... the stick ran off that way, so it kind of trades you to know that that's what you're meant to do. I have no idea how to, how I'm, I guess defending. I'm going to have to, I'm actually going to have to learn how to block against this bear. That's going to be the only way I make it out of this. Oh, he freaked up his hand, shaking his paw like that. I almost felt bad for him. Oh, ow, my paw. Okay. <laughs> If, you, if you're not going to cheese it, like, do do these dinky little attacks and back away, then you have to parry. You can't run in there and get away with anything else, apparently. Uh, man, I never I never learned how to defend myself properly against the, the other animal here either, so this is going to be extra hard for that reason. Yep. Yeah. One, one at a time. One at a time, please. Shit. It's not good to go into these fights with only one health. Ugh, I blocked in the wrong direction. Oh wait, full health. I have a much better chance now than I did previously. And I'm gonna try and like get the stun... the stun counters on him and stuff if he'll let me. Quit being such a bitch. Oh god damn it, I wasn't prepared for that. I don't remember your attack moves at all, except for the top one. <laughs> oh, crap. <laughs> Quit doing that. I only remember the bear's attacks now. Shit. How am I supposed to memorize the tells of two separate enemies? That's too much to ask. Oh, man. It's worth it. It's worth it to actually fight this thing instead of trying to cheese it, because it's so easy to screw up. If you really crowd its space, then you, you like, force it into attacking, which is kind of kind of good for me, because I'm trying to make just the one specific animal go for me, 
So that's the main thing I got going for me here. And then now and again, you can kind of... Uh, you can get the, uh, the stun things on it when you time it right. This is the best, best bet I have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. What was my strategy for this guy? Let him walk into my... No! Oh, that was my chance. Oh, that went... That went pretty well. I can, I think I can recreate that. Nice sense of accomplishment, like learning the downward one. The sweep the leg I never seem to be able to block properly. But uh, you kind of start to learn a little bit. I was lucky there because I used the wrong block. I can never, the, the side swipe and the down swipe look quite similar. They are different. Oh. There's neat little touches, like the spark that clangs off the armor, like, lights up his armor a little bit like that. I think that's really cool. It, like, looks looks very effective. I, I like the look of it. And that was another one of those times where he got bonus health for some reason. Oh, uh, he, he crouches, like, physically before doing the, the low one. Other, the arm does the same thing, but the body moves differently. Mm, we have infinite health bear this time. I heard it play the There there we go. It like played the sound effect of the bear dying, but he still stuck around. Goofy things that are just glitching out because it's like a very early build of this game. It's I mean it's basically just like a tech demo right now, so we can't can't expect a ton from it. Look at that goat just staring straight at the screen, like, whoa, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Every time it's playing the uh, the bear is dead sound effect. Maybe maybe if I get him to attack once, that I can that I can do it. I think it's if you start attacking the bear before you've aggravated him at all. If you get if you get all your killing blows in before he's attacked, then there's some sort of glitch there. So notes for the developers there when you're loading up the the save. Yeah, I might as well die so I can come back with full health. Majority of the time, I'll just come in and cheese the bear like this, and sometimes I can get all three hits off without him getting to attack. Whoa, I think the death animation is different depending on what the killing blow is. That's impressive. I'm gonna go for an uppercut for the killing blow just to see. Crap. Well, now, now I'll just go for it anyways. Well, that was a waste. The uppercut is really hard to land on the bear. He totally falls in a different direction depending which way you hit him. So that's that's a sweet detail. Oh yes, yes, yes. Took out the bear. Took out the bear. Come on, baby. The bear is the one I'm more concerned about. I should be able to cheese this guy pretty well without having to totally learn his attack patterns. The the overhead one. No. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> that sucks. I've got to try again though. That was so close, and it was—it looked really cool in the forest. I want to see more of the cool forest, you know. Mm, I only have one hit left on that stupid fucking bear. I usually like to get one deflect, get the shot off, and then kind of let him do one more while I kind of collect my bearings. That time I let him get a couple extra ones in because I didn't feel overly confident, so I want to take the step back and like reassess. Man, the way they armored this thing up is super hardcore, isn't it? Oh, god damn it. <laughs> Terrifying. Why was I so good at this the first time I ever had to fight this thing? Fuck, I knew that was... I knew I was too close. I was playing a little too risky there. I Maybe I should just learn his attack patterns. But no, that seems too difficult. I at least know the bear well enough now that I can go like toe-to-toe -to -toe with him super easily. You don't actually even have to deflect the upper attack enough, or, or or properly. You don't have to do like a proper counter and deflect or anything. There are enough frames of animation on that one that even uh, if you just regular defend it, then he will kind of just leave himself open to attack anyways. The other ones without that like shaking of the paw animation between he recovers too quickly and he like will get another shot off on you so i had to kind of learn that i've only successfully uh parried the overhead attack 
like once it's it's very precise see when eventually they like back off and the other guy will come at you and then i'll i'll just force the bear to fight some more because i'm like not prepared to go in the other direction there so now now that i've taken care of that i can slowly advance this guy and deal with him this is after like a dozen iterations of this that's why i was a i felt confident that i could just narrate my way through it and and let it kind of happen but I, i've gotten to this part a few times and will blow it around here oh so i didn't want i, I didn't want to get too cocky you know i don't know what that is is that a good thing for me oh it seems bad it seems bad what's he doing ah uh, shit i don't know what you're doing man i'm do you know what i'm cheesing it i'm cheesing it out of here and I'm gonna drop myself like a new save thing, maybe? Uh, cause yeah, this guy is scared me and I think he's gonna mess me up and I don't want to do that over and over again. So, is this just like I have to attack you from very specific directions? I have to defend in very specific ways? Oh shit. I didn't necessarily want to respawn there. Oh yeah, but it kind of opens up from like where this dude's about to attack from. He, he more or less signals for me what his plan is come on oh the shield thing so there's only a very specific spot you can attack from and defend from the way that shield is moving around now all of a sudden i kind of have to keep an eye on two things so i don't i don't really know see he was attacking from the I, I think I have to parry. See, it's easy to see where he's attacking from, but I don't know how the hell to get a, a proper shot off on this jerk. Do I have to attack? Oh, maybe I just, like, have to parry a bunch and then try and stun him like that? Oh, but I have to learn the, the speed of his attacks there. He's... There's like a weird half delay between each one of his attacks that's very peculiar to get used to. Oh, this one's going to take a, a, a definite bit of practice. There, I got him. Oh, see, that sucks. This stupid defense thing here. So I really got to think about like how I'm, how I'm defending. How I'm defending is fine, but I got to try and make sure I time it correctly to get the parry. And then I have to attack... In a direction other than what he is defending. Those first two went pretty smoothly, I'd say. Those first three, he's not even moving his shield around. There he goes. He keeps leaving the center open, so that's easy to adjust to. There, now that I kind of recognize what was going on and how to address it, that wasn't so bad. That wasn't so bad. I I actually cruised through that far more effectively than I did uh, the previous thing, the the bear and then the bear with the like ibex or whatever it would end up being. I'm dropping myself a a, a save save doodles <laughs> down here before I go into the the forest. A frog with a shield. And, uh, what's up, Mr. Owl? I, I can't walk past here. Oh, there's a rock wall in my way. So I think these are the two extremes of, like, what I'm currently able to explore. I'm gonna run all the way back over to the other side there and see if that wall has opened, maybe? But my guess is that I've cleared out what's available for the demo. They were playing around with it in cool ways. It was uh, it was a challenge to kind of get the feel for it. I've played one other thing like this. Nidhogg competitively and in a much more simplistic fashion. Look how far that mole's gone. <laughs> and uh, another one called Bannerman? Bannerman? I don't think it was plural. It was Bannerman. Uh, and I, it had kind of a similar thing where you had to use very precise, like, realistic sword fighting in a 2D fashion like this. But I really like how they set it up in this. That was a cool demo, very effective way of like showing off what uh, what to expect in a game like this. I imagine over time you could uh, improve your character, maybe get a bit better gear. 
in more health obviously things like that maybe you could learn cool combos i don't know yeah i'll be sure to provide links in the description to give you guys the opportunity to follow up on this one track development for yourself because yeah i think it's a cool game i think i think they have a neat idea here thank you so much for watching i'll see you again soon